Hi everyone, it's me. Thank you for joining me again. So, I want to say first thank you so much for your donations. It's what's keeping this going. It's so needed for me and my children right now. Um, it's helping me get the work out to you. So if I have to leave again, it's because I have to deal with things of the outside world instead of doing my work. And that's kind of what's been happening. Um, I've had several jobs in between and these people find out where I'm located and harass me. So it's not that I'm not a hard worker. I have to work only on my spiritual work and only on getting these messages out to you. And the only way I'm able to do that is if you either donate or sign up for my courses or support me monetarily for the time being until I can get through this onto the other side because I'm kind of doing something that no one has ever done. And that's why I've had such a hard time and I actually have almost, uh, I almost haven't made it because of these things so anyway today's video is titled one other thing is if I yesterday I was gonna make a video I, I wrote the blog for this video so if you want to read about this video it's going to be a little bit different than the video the video is channeling I get a title, um, I will channel in the title of the video, and then I will write the blog, which is using a different side of my brain than when I'm channeling. So the videos are channelings somewhat within a certain, you know, boundary of a, a title, and then the blogs are a little bit more analytical so you can understand this subject more thoroughly and the subjects that I get they just pop into my head and I just channel from there I'm trying to really balance both sides of my brain right now so I can just come into harmony completely which has almost happened so Anyway, uh, today's video is called Claim Your Divine Inheritance, and it has everything to do with how your emotional energy is being used to keep society's agenda going, to keep a hold on your life, um, to keep you trapped and confined in either like a cubicle in your job, you know, or um, in a certain fi family dynamic, in... It, it could be anything like basically when you are interacting with society you are giving your energy to something what is it that you're giving your energy to is the question how are you helping humanity with that energy because everybody goes to a job every day and gives their energy to something but what is it they're giving their energy to and if it's not something that's in alignment with your highest soul potential it's basically destructive to humanity and to your own soul's growth. It doesn't appear that way, but that's actually what's happening. So your divine inheritance is your God-given right to be supported and taken care of on this planet. However, that right has been stolen from us through manipulation where they trigger your emotional energy to create their world, which is based on the, you know, slave mentality. The thing is, is that light workers are magical, so your energy is so powerful that when you think about something, it creates it. And that's what I just went through for the past four or five years. People had already known what my future was. I didn't know it because I was always taking care of my kids and helping others. I didn't have time to really dwell on, you know, looking into anything really um, besides what I was being guided to teach. So basically these people knew my future because they had gone to psychics or 
you know, these types of people to find out what my future was and were plotting against me even before this started happening. So the only reason I couldn't get away is because they trapped all of my children and separated all of us, but they had been working on it through very manipulative tactics for the whole time way before like I said way before this started happening and so I would have been able to escape however they all had a hold on my children and so being a mother is the most important thing in my whole life it's what I put above everything else and so they knew if I didn't have my children that I would fall and you know I almost did the emotional devastation from this whole experience was was what almost killed me it wasn't like I said it wasn't anything physical it was emotional and the pain my children went through is completely like I, I can't even imagine these kinds of things happening to anyone but I had to go through it to learn what they're doing how they're using our energy how they're triggering us to create negative things. So when they did this to my children, of course I got angry and upset and I was trying to figure out what was going on and at the same time having every single thing taken from me. I had to let go of attachment of everything material completely. Like I don't base anything on material at all because I know now that our energy is what creates this reality. And so the only thing they could do was try to get me in emotional turmoil where I was scared and upset about not being with my children and um, creating that in my reality. So on a larger scale, this is what they're doing to everyone. Um, so when you're in your little cubicle stamping the paper or whatever it is you're doing in the cubicle, they're sucking your energy basically and you're giving your energy to a corporation or an organization that is not actually helping humanity. Therefore, light workers have to create their own world and we are creating this now. And I'm the spokesperson for this because I don't see anybody else out there doing anything. I see people teaching subjects and giving you a little bit of information to kind of make you feel a little better, but there's not really a full on solution. But since it's about 2007, I've been receiving divine guidance about what the solution is, what it looks like, and I have been creating this for about 12, 13 years now. So the courses that I teach on my site are the solution to this problem because everyone must learn to ground themselves and heal their energy field so that it's not able to be distracted by outer triggers because then that energy even looking at someone gives them energy and most people are caught up in this societal game all right it takes courage and strength to go outside of this uh, <laughs> And no one does for that reason, but I will. And I will be the person to stand up for everyone. I just really need to be supported right now so that I'm able to do the this work. Um, because truly I am doing something that no one else will do. And uh, because when you do go outside of society to do these things, you get attacked, okay? And I'll explain the dynamics of that and exactly what they're doing but basically they're they're using any tactic necessary to steal light workers energy because we create everything they can't create they don't have the ability they don't have the magic all they can do is steal energy from the people that they are that they have made slaves for generations and generations okay so we have to really claim our power we cannot put up with this anymore and we have to only focus our attention on the vision that we are creating now for humanity. And I will explain that in future videos because it's a very, not only my story, my story in and of itself could be 50 novels and many movies, 
which it will be, but the information that I have to teach could be many novels or encyclopedias or whatever you want to call them. Um, there's so much that was channeled through me during this time in meditation when I was in the forest, learning that I could live just fully on my own energy. And if it weren't for my children, I wouldn't have come back into society or into even made videos because what's the point? When you know your own internal energy, you can go anywhere and meditate and be fine. So that's what a lot of spiritual people do once they find that in themselves, that enlightenment. They go and um, meditate. <laughs> that's all they do. But I wasn't able to do that because of my children. I have to work within some sort of societal structure right now because I'm trying to you know, keep everything balanced in for my kids. If that makes sense. Um, anyway, your divine inheritance is yours. It has been given to you by God. Society cannot steal it from you. They can trick you. They can deceive you. They can manipulate you into doing it yourself. But you have to give away your own power. You have to. What they attempt to do is make you think that there is no other option besides giving away your power somewhat. But I'm telling you, there is another way and that we all have to come together. We have to stick together. We have to build our light and we have to create the new way because no one out there is going to help us. The light workers are here now to create heaven on earth and without each other, and without supporting each other and without creating this and building this with our own vision and our own energy and our own love, then we'll stay stuck in these situations where we have to be isolated from the rest of society and be in fear because people are controlling us in some way. They're not able to control you. You give your power away, okay? Every identity, every, every, person or every way that you saw yourself before is false it's just an identity that's been put out there to show the world that's not who you truly are I want to teach you who you truly are and I want to teach you to feel comfortable standing in your own power and never allowing anyone to tell you what's true for you only you can tell yourself that and I want to teach you how to do that so sometimes I have low energy days. I'm dealing with a lot besides, you know, teaching my courses and writing the blogs. By the way, don't forget to read the blog. The blog's really good. So you'll have to bear with me in the beginning as I go through these energetic shifts as well to get this information out to you. Uh, but basically, all the riches and abundance that we need to support our own community, our own light community is within us, okay? But I can't do it alone. I can't carry this all on my shoulders alone. I can't be a mother. I can't, you know, be a mother on top of like figuring out how to financially support everything and do the channelings and be in meditation. It's like either or, right? And I don't, I'm not of this world. I don't do well in their system. So I need to be supported to be able to do my channelings and to get the information out there. And I will do videos all day long, but it's your support that keeps this going, just so you know. And I'm very grateful for your donations. If you'd like to sign up for a course, that's below the video. I don't do sessions anymore because I need to stay really in my own energy and only channeling what I'm getting to stay not distracted. And I'm just going to teach the lessons now. So. I love you all. Thank you so much for your support. I know this video didn't go too in depth, but the blog will teach you more about this particular subject. Just wanted to kind of fill you in with what's going on and let you know that we are creating the new world and just keep the faith and the belief and know that it is all happening. Thank you so much for listening.